Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris, aka okay, the IT guy. I've been receiving many problems regarding on how to make a bootable Mac OS El Capitan, and uh, I showed you the first method and it didn't work out for some. That's the reason why I am going to make this video to help you guys. First of all, you have, you have to make sure that you have the El Capitan image. Uh, here I have my image here, the, here I have El Capitan. And if you don't have it, guys, you can be my Patreon to get it very easily, or you can go to the Apple. I can go like uh, El Captain, go like this one, El Captain. Oh, I'm writing a typo, El Captain, like this. And you can follow the link. The first link maybe it will be from uh, this uh, Mac OS. Let's see. Let's see from the Apple Store. And you can get the El Captain from there. And I hope if we follow where the link you will get there. And to make this, you will have to use a, a command. And in the command, you can uh, you can navigate to this link, and they will leave all the command that I'm going to use to make this bootable Mac OS uh, USB uh, for Air Captain in the description, and you can access them there, guys, to make things more easily. Uh, as you are seeing, there are some of the links to make a bootable USB drive of different kind. So today, we're going to make Air Captain, and that the the command that we are going to use is this one so without further ado let's go ahead and perform the uh, processes and the thing that you have to know is that you have to format the flash drive that you're going to use to make a bootable uh, media and in this case i have my flash disk here and uh, the first thing that i'm going to do is to erase it and to erase that i will pass through this utility we go in a search and i, I type disk uh disk um utility I'm using a new computer and the keyboard is somehow complicated and you can go on here and click on LA's and make sure you don't have any important information on this flash drive and when it asks you for the name I'm going to leave it as my Mac OS and make sure you memorize that name so you never forget it and go ahead and click on LA's and you have to wait for these processes to take like milliseconds to complete so don't get overwhelmed it didn't take long to depend on the um, device that we are using so in this case it's now complete all right so and the other thing that we're going to do is to take this image file which is now like this one install El Captain and I'm going to perform a copy I'm going to copy this and after making the copy I will go on uh, here and I will click on desktop I will go on go and go in the applications and in here you can come and paste it here so I'm going to come and paste it here I try to paste it here. Um, let's try to paste in the empty location like this. Oh, I can let, let it do this again. Go on applications and try to view by uh, as columns. And you can come in here and let's see where we can now paste this guy. So I have to paste it here, or you can do a simple drag and drop to make things very easy. I'm going to take this air captain and I drag it in here. So you can see now it is in my applications. And once it is in the applications, you can cross all this. You can see that it moved from this location to the applications. And once it's in there, we are ready to go. You can come here and copy the command that I showed you earlier. I'm going to copy this. And after making the copy, I will minimize my browser and I have to open the terminal like this, press enter and the terminal console will be opened and I hope it will look like this one or it will never be in the, the this color or this theme. If it is the right theme, never get used it. It is all the same. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here and to will try to install this and the things that we have to change in here is we have to navigate to where it is now written my volume here and we have to change this to the name of this drive it is now mark always like this and leave a space and after you do this the next thing that you have to do is to press enter and to ask you for the password put the password of your computer and it will ask you if you want to format this drive you have to press y or yes to accept and after doing that you can go ahead and press enter and to erase the disk and to perform now the 
the installation of the media and guys i will be back when this will be ready and i will show you on how to boot from this drive so let's give it a go and i'm going to speed up so as to never waste your time and as you are seeing here guys now it was uh, passing through all these processes it was able to copy the boot file it was able now to complete this uh, processes that we are doing gradually so the next step that we are going to do is to try to boot from this uh, USB drive that we made so I'm going to show you on how to do that guys all right on your Mac uh, you are going to go ahead and try to turn it on I'm going to turn it and try to press this option key here here it is I will press it and hold it until uh, we see now the bootable devices in here you can see that i have this one let me try to show you guys i have my air captain i have my mac os hd and i'm going to boot from this air captain in here so i will have to navigate and try to boot from this air captain thanks guys for watching this video i hope you find this very interesting and useful let me know in the comment if you met with any problem and i told you that you will have to see all the links of the assets that i use in the description and i hope guys uh, i will meet you with other videos and visit my patreon to buy a coffee if you have found this video very interesting and from now on till next time i will see you guys in the next one